Hello and welcome to Analog Insights. In today's episode, Greg and I review the Folklander 75mm f1.5 Nocton for the Leica M mount. The lens was only released in 2020 and retails for less than 1000 euro. The 75mm focal length is a little bit unusual for the Leica M system. The original Leica M3 that was introduced in 1954 came with 50mm, 90mm and 135mm frame lines, in part because of its viewfinder magnification of 0.92 times. The cheaper version, the Leica M2, which was released afterwards, um, and came with a 0.72 times viewfinder magnification. Then offered frame lines for a 35mm, a 50mm and a 90mm lens um, as a standard in the viewfinder. And this became the norm um, for really several um, years and decades. And only in 1980 um, Leica introduced the um, Leica M4P and a viewfinder that also supports um, lenses with frame lines for 75 millimeter lenses and 28 millimeter lenses. And at the time critics of course argued that Leica is only doing this to create additional markets and revenue streams um, by selling more lenses, additional lenses in between the 50 millimeter and 90 millimeter focal lengths and so forth. And um, purists kind of frowned at these additional um, focal lengths, claiming that they were not necessary. From today's perspective, one can say it's really up to yourself and your um, preferences and your photography. So depending on what you want and what you need, these different focal lengths can be um, really interesting. And these additional focal lengths can also be interesting. And of course, you should take that into consideration when um, hitting the market for a Leica M body. Coming back to our lens, the Folklander um, 75mm f1.5 um, Nocton replaces the earlier one, f1.8 um, Helia Classic in the Folklander lineup. It competes on the market with Leica's own um, 75mm Somicron M, an APO Somicron um, f2, which retails um, for 3,800 euros. And the significantly more expensive um, Leica Noctilux M, um, again 75mm um, f1.25, which retails um, for an incredible 12,150 euro. On the cheaper end of the spectrum, it, the lens competes with the Seven Artisans um, 75mm f1.25. Um, um, lens that I think costs below um, 500 euro or around 500 euro. So this is kind of the lineup and just looking at the specs of the Folklander Nocton here, um, it already promises um, great value for the money. What you get are 12 aperture blades, a minimum focusing distance of 0.7 meters, um, and a beautiful um, build quality and um, even a metal hood and um, an optical construction with a spherical lens and all that for below 1000 euro. So it really sits in between that um, sweet spot between the really um, cheaper one, the Seven Artisans offering and the more expensive original Leica offerings. Um, Greg recently purchased this lens and of course we had to take it out for photo walks in and around Würzburg, shooting um, some Fuji um, Color C200 in his um, Leica M4, where we kind of had to guess the 75 millimeter frame lines and um, some Adox Silvermax um, in his Leica M6 um, that of course shows the 75 millimeter frame lines in the viewfinder. So let's take a closer look.
what about the technical specifications? The lens is constructed of seven elements in six groups and it combines an spherical lens at the rear with three abnormal partial dispersion lenses towards the front. This manual focus lens is optimized for use on a Leica M mount um, rangefinder and of course comes with rangefinder coupling. As always you can also adapt it to any kind of digital um, mirrorless camera like the um, Sony Alpha 7 series for instance but um, looking at the reviews that I saw online and also our own experience you might encounter some issues with the optical performance on a Leica M10D it worked really perfectly fine and worked exactly the same but um, looking online you I could see that sometimes some people do encounter some issues that you don't see when using an M mount rangefinder. The maximum aperture is f1.5 and the minimum aperture f16 and it comes with 12 aperture blades um, which creates a particularly smooth bokeh. The minimum focusing distance is 0.7 meters and the Nocton weighs only 350 grams is 63.3 um, millimeters long and um, comes with a filter size of 58 millimeters. The lens is available in both black and silver and comes with a matching reversible lens hood. The lens hood can be attached via a little screw here on the side and what is really nice is that it is a vented um, lens hood that um, supports you in um, preventing any kind of viewfinder blockage so um, basically the vents here help that you can still see parts of your composition that would be usually obscured by the lens hood. Of course the lens comes with a lens cap but it does not come with any kind of case or pouch. So how does the Nocturne perform optically? Focklander claims on its official website, quote, due to the telefocal length of 75 millimeters combined with a large maximum aperture of f1.5, the photographer can create strong images with smooth out of focus background rendering, ideal for truly outstanding portraits, unquote. And of course we had these use cases in mind when um, testing the lens so we took a couple of close-up portraits of each other, some portraits in general of course and also um, some close-ups of flowers in the Hofgarten of Würzburg. And to sum it up, hands down the optical performance of this lens is incredible. And it can certainly be shot wide open at f1.5 with confidence so there's no need to stop it down unlike um, other lenses where this sometimes happens that the widest aperture cannot really be used. In this case it can certainly be used. Um, in general the bokeh is mostly very smooth and the transitions to out of focus areas are really nice and only towards the edges of the frame you can sometimes see um, slight swirls. Um, the lens is overall very sharp and becomes incredibly sharp once you stop down to f5.6 um, or even f8. And um, it, is, it hardly vignettes, only a little bit when shot wide open, but significantly less than you might have expected. Um, and as is common for focal length lenses, it produces um, sun stars, which some people um, really despise and others just love. Personally, I really like them. I don't have strong feelings about them, but I just like them. And the lens is certainly not prone to flaring, so we tried that a little bit, but it is really hard to produce such effects. And we could not identify any distortions and um, even chromatic aberrations were no problem in our test. And this might be different when shooting it on a mirrorless digital camera. Um, when we used it um, 
with the Leica M10D, for instance, um, our results were equally good and we did not encounter any problems here. So overall, really high optical performance and an incredible lens for the money. <laughs> So how does the 75mm Nocton handle? The compact form factor, metal and glass construction and high build quality give the entire lens a really premium feel. The design is sleek and straightforward, all the markings are engraved and painted um, and um, all the tolerances in general are very low. Overall, it just looks like the 50mm f1.5 Nocton and the two lenses of course would make a great pair. The only thing that is important to mention is if you are using a standard 0.72 times magnification viewfinder on the Leica M you, and you're shooting the 75 millimeter lens wide open at f1.5, you're really at the limit of what is possible to focus correctly. Um, it is really hard to see sometimes um, using the standard rangefinder patch. And of course, um, there is a solution for that, and that is um, using a loop on the viewfinder. Um, and so Greg uh, purchased such a 1.4 times magnification loop that is recommended um, for 75 millimeter and 90 millimeter lenses on the Leica um, rangefinders. But unfortunately, it did not arrive in time for our um, review, so we cannot show it to you here, but we would highly recommend using it, um, especially if you intend to shoot portraits wide open on a regular basis using that lens and want to ensure correct focus, of course. Um, as mentioned before, the lens hardly blocks the viewfinder and the vented lens hood also um, yeah, supports that. So even when that is attached, you don't have any problems. So overall, you get a beautiful high quality lens for less than 1000 euro and that comes with great um, optical performance, 12 aperture blades and a minimum focusing distance of 0.7 meters. A really nice um, value for the money. So thank you very much for watching. We hope you enjoyed this episode of Analog Insights and our review of the Folklander 75mm f1.5 Nocton. As mentioned, it's a great value for the money, um, comes with amazing optical performance and um, yeah, um, only slight, slight trade-offs um, here and there, but overall a really nice lens. So if you're in the market for such a 75mm, we can highly recommend you take a look at it. If you enjoyed this video, please remember to like it and maybe even share it with your friends. And if you want to see more videos like this, please subscribe to our channel. Jules, Greg and I really appreciate each and every subscriber coming our way. So thanks for watching. I hope to see you soon. Bye.